Macau. Macau is known as the Vegas of China. So let me just try and make this a little more clear for you. In 2014, Macau took 45 billion. In the same year, Vegas took 6.5 billion. It's pretty serious shit over there. It's illegal to gamble in China, so everyone just flocks to Macau, spends all their cash, and the casinos are ram-packed every day. But not only the casinos, they've got these crazy hotels, amazing nightlife, and things like the biggest, biggest bungee jump in the world. But before I get into Macau, I have two apologies to make. One, I didn't upload on Friday. I apologize, I had a malfunction with my hard drive. Two people called me out, cheers guys. It won't happen again, it's all sorted now. Secondly, this vlog is a throwback. In the first three weeks I was here, I had to go to Macau to activate my visa. So this is an old vlog, and I had a bit of trouble with my camera back then as well. I didn't bring my spare memory card and I ran out of memory so I had to film this on an iPhone 6, so apologies. So I went with my partner in crime, Lawrence, who was in this video and we tried to film as much as possible but in those, some of those casinos and some of those places they wouldn't even let me record, so enjoy. Darling, you send me, I know you send me. I'm 56E. Yeah. Darling, you send me. I know. Thank you. Send me. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you send me. Darling, you. Boom. Let go, Lawrence. <laughs> Come on, get your balance. Come on, man, you've got to pick up some speed. Oh, I'm out the shot, mate. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. Just got lost. That sky is tripping me out. I keep walking around in circles. Bruh. Trying to get to the top floor to, to see the views, but we don't know where the lifts are. So we've just watched some people check in. And we're going to follow them, see if we can find the lifts. We <laughs> got to level 38 in the hotel. I'm pretty dead right now. It's not sweet, isn't it? And then we're going to go down to level five and try and check out the pool. Can we get out on? The bab yeah, it's gonna be locked, isn't it? Damn it! Darling, you send me. <laughs> it's 
pretty nice. So we managed to sneak in. And the pool is pretty awesome. There's three pools. I don't know if you can see. Managed to get a towel, put a fake hotel number. We're doing pretty good. Hopefully they don't follow us because we said we'd come back and give them our name and our code. Made it in the pool. It's pretty great. Someone gave us a nice glass of refreshing cold water. We had to lie, he says. We put in our our room number is 326. Made it up. And we're in. They said, oh yeah, just make sure you, you get your uh, your ID card when you come back through. And we were like, yeah, yeah, yeah okay, we'll get it. So, fingers crossed they don't ask anything on the way out. Just pretending to check the menu, are you? <laughs> are you really going to buy anything? Or are we just going to run out of here? The perfect crime. <laughs> we made it. We snuck out a different exit through the restaurant so they didn't ask for our ID number. So we're all good, nice pool. Good start to the day. just want you to get an idea of how great these hotels are. There's an Apple store inside the hotel, okay? There's like McDonald's, look, H&M. It's like a shopping center inside the hotels. These, these hotels are ridiculous. Just finished in the Venetian. Lawrence wants some money. Went into the pool, had a feed. Now we're in the galaxy. Uh, the big gold gold hotel we're gonna actually try and go in the pool again fingers crossed if not we're just gonna come come back and get some food Bye. Bye.